My name is Antonella Nota. I work for the European Space Agency because the Hubble mission is a partnership program between NASA and ESA. I have been fortunate enough to be with the Hubble project since before launch. Uh, so I, in a sense, I have lived through all the phases. And uh, uh, several years ago, I think probably 10 years ago, we were thinking of doing a survey of young clusters in the Small Magellanic Cloud, which was a relative uncharted territory. And we had selected just on the base of some ground-based images, a few areas of interest. They looked like some little bubbles with some puffs of, of gas and dust, maybe some, some stars. And uh, uh, one of these was NGC 602, relatively unknown. And I remember when we first saw the image coming down from the camera, we looked at it and it was just a plain black and white, unpolished, unreduced image. And me and my team looked at each other and we said, this is going to be on the cover of every single Hubble book. And uh, 10 years later, you know, we see it on the cover of every single book because it's such a beautiful, uh, amazing image. And uh, uh, the beauty goes with the scientific information that that image has given us because uh, the area where NGC 602 is, is an area which is kind of a desert. There isn't much in terms of gas and dust. So in the middle of nowhere, seeing this little cocoon of gas and dust forming stars is basically, you know, we've all gone, wow, this is phenomenal. We were not expecting this. There are so many. Another one I would say is M16, the Pillars of Creation. It's hard to describe or quantify. Some images just do that. They, they connect you with the universe in ways that, you know, uh, are totally unexpected.